What is up everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your boy, Big Homie Biz. Here's Danny with a clip that I can watch over and over and over again. We're talking blading here every single week. So if you're new to this series, consider subscribing or following. Also like this video and share it with the homies because it's always more fun when the homies can have some. We're gonna jump right into it with products. They done did it. They done gave Derek another one. Razor saw Frankie get another one last week and they said, hey Derek, show him what we got. The Razor's SL Henderson 2 Skate is an all black boot with the same color as me, brown cuff and yellow accents. The shit looks so fire. Almost as fire as the first one. The first one's always gonna hold a little special place in my heart though, because it's number one. You always, you always have a special place set aside for the first. They come stock with Featherlight 3 frames and don't get ahead of me, we're gonna get there, and Henderson wheels. Derek also has a piece put together to promote the skates by 2Easy and this shit, this shit ain't hard to you no more, huh, bruh? It's just like, it's just a walk in a park for you to just kill it on blades. If you're not already impressed with how the skates look, the edit's gonna push you over the fucking edge. Make sure you check out both and congrats to Derek on the second skate. And look, man, I don't skate razors. All right. Okay, now we're gonna talk about ground control. You know when it rains, it pours over there at Sunshine Distribution. And here's me without an umbrella or anything. I'm informally calling these the mini megas. Don't say that shit out loud though. They're gonna get mad at me. Ground Control presents the Featherlight 4 frame. It utilizes the strength of the mega frame, the light weight of the Featherlight frame, and the wheel protection of the HDH block. Yo, high key, these frames are gonna be unstoppable. Holy crap, man. I was waiting to see what Ground Control was gonna hit us with with this teaser from last week. Why did you tag yourself in your last post? And what's up with these ghost frames? But now, that I see it, I'm glad I waited, man. This shit was impressive. Ground Control is one of the oldest frame companies in the game and they continue to show us why. These things are available in North America now, worldwide soon. Sorry, everybody else. Contra gave me a pro wheel for Rob Collette and it's about goddamn motherfucking time. When this hit the gram, I almost shit myself, but it's okay, because I was on the toilet. Okay, don't act like I'm the only person in the world that scrolls social media on the toilet, okay? There's literally memes about the shit. Pun intended. These wheels are 60 millimeter, 98 hardness in a blue, gold, tan, and purple colorway that's seriously fire. Like, I've seen a lot of good looking wheels, but this is in top tier. As I'm telling you this story, the wheels are sold out. I'm sorry, I know, but they are. But Rob has posted there's gonna be another run on the Conjure website. The pre-order sold out in a day. Who does that? My shit took two days. Anyway, shout out to Conjure and Rob for making this happen. Rob even has an edit dropping on Tuesday promoting the wheels called Time. And if it was up to me, or at least if I was involved, this shit would be about damn time. All right, that's gonna do it for products. Really dope stuff this week. Anything you're juiced about? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, let's do some events. Still weird. The Bay Area Blade Comp happened last weekend in um, the Bay Area. And honestly, it seemed like a lot of fun. I wasn't there because I was doing all this. But it was going down at Stonegate Skate Park in San Jose. They had a long list of Blade games that feature skating from Corey Waikiki, Steven Babcock, Ben Poling, and so much more. At the end of the day-long session, it was Corey Waikiki that took home the cash prize. I mean, honestly, no surprise there. Have you seen him skate? Anything? Make sure you check out their Instagram for more clips and information about the event. Mike Jimenez put together a really cool piece of the Triple OG game of skate that ended up happening there as well. It was a three-way game of Blade between Jason Reduda, RJ, and BJ Bernhardt. No matter who won that game, it was really cool to see all of them just fucking ripping it. Make sure you check that out. I'm gonna run through a couple of comps happening in the next couple of months so that you can set your calendars accordingly. This is still fucking weird though. What is this? Going outside, meeting up with people? Who does that anymore? Schmitty's Ramping Camp is happening May 14th through the 16th in West Lafayette, Indiana. Windy City Riot is happening July 17th in Ashai. And the Seattle Street Battle is happening July 31st in Seattle, Washington. Since I personally won't be at any of these events, I'll make sure to get you as much coverage as I can. I might miss some stuff because it's kind of hard to get all the information from afar, but you know, I got your back if I can. Bear with me. All right, them's the events. Let's get into these videos. Before we get into these videos, here's Michael Briggs with a quick word about Dead Wheels. 
Hey, I'm amateur rollerblader Michael Briggs, and when I'm doing tricks like this, the last thing I need to be worried about is slipping. That's why I use dead wheels. Dead wheels are the grippiest wheels on the market. Dead wheels, because I'm trying to stay alive. I love that guy. And those wheels. They don't sponsor me, but you know, just sharing some love where I can. Let's talk about Red Eye, because if I don't, I'm gonna get another wordy DM. Josh Glow Wiki gave us two minutes for Red Eye that will knock your socks off. I could have said some kind of plain reference there, but you know. Josh Glow Wiki gave us two minutes for Red Eye that will put you to sleep. It's the Red Eye, so you go to sleep on the Red Eye. Whatever. Josh has always been better than all of us for always. And this edit just proves it again. He's getting down in Tantazen and making it look just too freaking easy, man. Josh has also been doing a lot of work with Blade Camp and linked up with the Community E project. If you want more information about that project, the link's gonna be in the description. But for now, here's a step up Mizu that shouldn't be that good. You've probably been tagged like three different times from the same person on three different accounts about this next piece. John Green hit us with his 2021 profile that's actually pretty good. John's been mostly on his videography tip, so it's good to see him put on the old wheelie shoe boots and get some fucking work in. Someone asked me if this is his them introduction piece and I'm like, no, he's just writing them. It's like saying I'm on Carhartt because I'm wearing Carhartt, which I'm not against by the way. Patricia Nadia from Poland gives us a quick piece for USD this week. Makes you realize that you need to have her name floating around more often. This girl is dope. Zero Acid Toe Roll was big chips. I wish I could toe roll at all, let alone like that. I can't even figure this shit out. What weight distribution does all this need? The whole edit is dope. Make sure you check it out for real. All right, pretty scarce on the videos this week, but at least we still have them. Let's get social before it's, before it's too late. We're gonna start this week off with Rodrigo getting this slide to zero Miz that's so smooth, with so much precision. Mike Toffee has been skating again, and has been skating a lot. So much so that he has a whole ass edit on the gram collected from his first sessions back. And it's fire. It's on this show, therefore I'm telling you that it's fire. This down rail looks like a great time. And I don't say that about um, any down rail, ever. Make sure you check this out for real, it's worth a watch. Have y'all been watching Joe Zink on the gram lately? Like for real, like have you been paying attention to my mans? He's been posting real after real after real of dope shit. Similar to Nick Lomax, if I started talking about Joe, I'd be talking about this man every single freaking week. When is, when is Rosie's gonna put you on, man? Like for real, for real. What needs to happen? Who do I need to talk to? Like who do I need to, I'll punch somebody in the face to get you on, Joe. You making them skates look way too good. Make sure you check out these reels and the rest of his profile for some good, good shit. I'm telling you, man, Instagram killed the video part. That should be a t-shirt. Brandon Lamary linked up with Jeff V in Carolina. North or South, it wasn't specified. And put together some really good, solid skating on the gram this week. Honestly, I wish I had a top sole that looked this good. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all wish you had a top sole that looked this good. Make sure you add this to the list of clips you're gonna check out this week. Cause it's worth a once or twice or nine times over. We're gonna end this section off with a boosted 540 True Miz that you need to watch twice. So I'm gonna give it to you two times. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below.
As always, make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you want to support them or this show directly, hit that link in the description. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the TWIB updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. I have a bunch of crazy skits and real ideas that are coming down the pipe. I'm also starting a new series where I have online sessions with my friends. You definitely want to make sure you're here for that. For this week's Ender, here's Savosa with something so amazing, so scary, that it's considered a kink in some places and banned in some countries. It swept to the skies. Surprise, surprise, surprise.